Hey well guys, and welcome back to another episode on Genesis. And this is kind of an intro before the intro. So there's actually two intros. Um, or I might cut the other intro, I'm not sure. But anyway, um, this intro is actually taking place uh, after, or like way after, because I didn't realize until recently that this episode is episode, well, I'm taking this episode 101, but uh, in the playlist, but it's episode 100 of the series. So, pretty cool. Um, it's crazy to think that in, I think it's, I think it's on the 20, I forget, it's 20 something. This series will have been a year and a half long. I have been doing this series for a year and a half, and we are nearly at the end of it, or at least of the maps out so far. It is insane. <laughs> it is insane to think how far it's come. So, if you've been there since the beginning, thank you so much. If you tagged along at some point, just found the channel, saw the videos, and like, oh, this is actually kind of interesting. Thanks for tagging along. Uh, I don't really care where you came or when you came along and, you know, all that, but just want to say thanks for sticking around and episode 100. That's crazy right there. But uh, yeah, anyway, let's get on with the video. If you can get enough robots or you like on multiplayer, you can get people together. Uh, use mechs if you can, or I'm not sure if it works for all the robots or just mechs, but where you can use the mechs because... In this case, the mechs take reduced damage, or uh, don't take bleed damage, which is insanely handy for brute allies, because they're already powerful as is, and adding a bleed attack on just makes it way more difficult than it really needs to be. Anyway, oh, of course I need to go right next to an oil vein. Don't, nah. Oh. Dang it, how many, oh my gosh, so many of them got hit. See that? My word, Someone, so many of them are going to lose so much health. Gosh dang it. I don't even know how much health they lose. Hold on, I want to check on this one actually. Okay, let me bound back. Oh my gosh, they lost so much health. Okay, seriously, guys. Oh my word, these guys are the infuriate. Oh my word. Okay, seriously. Alright. You need to go and enable passive healing. You need to try and heal everybody because a lot of people got hurt there. That is another thing I also got a um, date on to help with. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, I got a date on to help with the creature's bleed because, uh, yeah, hopefully it will keep their health up and everything. All right, well, in this case, I don't think I need to UD roar. I, yeah, no, it, it would have been... It would have been pointless, but I, and definitely for the last wave, I want to try to get some UV roars in. Definitely think it's going to come in handy there. Um, we might be going into the hills, and if we are, that's going to be a humongous problem. But, whatever. Alright. Let's get on this track, make sure everybody's with us. Come on. Okay, really? Oh, my word. I hate these missions so much, having to bring all these creatures around. It is the worst. Okay, is the Daedon just stuck back there? Oh my word. Alright. Fine. I guess I gotta go grab the stupid Daedon. Let me round. Wait, nope. Wait, where's the Daedon then? The Daedon must have gotten around, but where is he? There he is. Okay, whatever. That's fine. Uh, what are you being held back? I'm hoping it's just the rock and you'll be able to get around. Because if not, that's a problem. Alright, come on. Oh my word, why is- ugh, I'm gonna be back once for the next wave. These stupid creatures can't get around these stupid rocks. Alright, Aloe's just up here. Everybody get in there. Oh my word, why is it with rocks in you guys today? Seriously. Technically speaking, this one is bone, not rock, but still. I can't- oh my word, I can't even whistle you guys on him. Okay. Passive. Oi, oi, oi. Can't get up the- Oh, Mord, why can't I get up- Oh, Mord, the rocks today are just being infuriating. Okay, everybody follow me. I'll be back in a bit. Oh, my word. These rocks are just a humongous nuisance. Okay, here they are. Let's get everybody in there. 
And probably about 20 million of them are going to be stuck on these stupid rocks. Oh my goodness. No, the Daedon's down there. You're supposed to be up here for healing, you know. You really are. Oh my word, this stupid... This pig is the worst in the world. Come here. Okay, seriously. You're supposed to follow me. Oh my word. <laughs> It's not that hard. Okay, we need. Let's get everyone on this aloe. We need to take down one aloe and then we can take down the remain. Alright, and. It's dead. Okay, everyone on that one. Okay, guys, you need to bite it. There we go. Oh my word. This mission has been a pain in the keister thanks to these guys. Alright, nothing useful. Well, maybe the saddle. Let's see, what do we got? Uh, yeah, it's just slightly better than my current saddle. Alright, I'll keep it. Alright, uh, we have one more mission over here, and then... I don't know, I'm not sure... I want to get, like, some... Really? Oh my word, I don't want to drop that. Oi, okay. Alright, I'm gonna pick everyone up, I'm gonna get ready for the next... Uh, brute fight. I'm not really sure what I want to be doing total though because Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I Wait, no, was the other one better? Yeah, the other one was I thought it was a 55 not 45. Ah, right, whatever. Anyway, okay. Well, pick everybody up. I'll be back once we're at the next fight Okay, we're over here at Kingslayer and uh, we're gonna be starting this puppy off Beta level. Uh, if I remember correctly, this thing doesn't have a ton of health, and so we should be able to do it easy with just this kind of army. I think I have six Rexes, four Aloes, so it's not a ton, but it should be enough, I think. Or at least, I very much hope. Alright, let's grab these footprints. It's much easier to go up this hill when you're using a much more mobile and turnable creature than a Magmasaur. Because when you're trying to use a magma sword to go up this hill, it is painful. Try and grab these uh, tracks. Very, very painful. Uh, we're totally going to lose some Rexes to the cliff here. 100%. And if not here, then definitely later. Although, it is possible we'll keep it around just because... Or we'll keep them just because uh, I don't have a ton. I remember when I originally did... Uh, Genesis, I have like an army of like, I don't know, 30 Rexes per uh, brute fight, and so I, I, I think having like more minimal amount of Rexes should help out with that. So, I don't know, we'll see, but uh, oh, I'm alright. I'm, I almost don't feel ready for the beta fight, but uh, something like I, I've been doing a bunch of work. Uh, I actually think I got like an extra two mutations on my Rexes. Uh, I think health on both, but uh, it's still pretty cool, pretty nice, and pretty fancy and helpful and all. So pretty exciting there. I'm very very happy about getting some mutations or more muta uh, more health mutations and such. Uh, let's get the X or let's get the UD for me. It might be able to pull its way through, possibly. Mm, possibly not. Okay. Alright, that's fine. We'll just soul ball this thing, get everyone to stop, and just bring it back out. Okay. But yeah, um, I don't know. In a way, I feel ready for the fight. I definitely have to do a bit more preparation before I do it, but in a way, I should be ready for it. But at the same time, you know, you still, like, thinking of all the worst case scenarios and. Like, oh, I need to do this, oh, I need to do this, even though I really don't need to do it, but yeah. Anyway, I'll be back in the next fight. Shouldn't take too long, but yeah, anyway, I'll be back. Oh, there he is. Alright, everybody get on him. Yeah, we have one in the back there. Yeah, this thing, this thing does a decent amount of damage, but our Rexes do more, and the Aloes are getting that bleed in, so it should be fine. I am wondering if maybe I should work or possibly get some Carnos, because Carnos could get that extra bleed damage in. So instead of doing five percent damage uh, over ten seconds, we're actually getting ten percent damage in ten seconds because of the Carnos bleed. 
So I'm debating adding the Carnos to my arsenal, but uh, I'm not positive on that. It won't be entirely helpful in like very watery areas because they can't run in deep water or in deepish water. So it will be a finicky thing. Can I get through? Thank you. All right. It'll take like maybe 20 seconds to get to the next fight, but yeah, I'll be back in just a second. And there he is. All right. Let's get everybody on that T-Rex. Uh, raptors aren't going to be much of a problem. All right. Let's get everyone Courage Ward. Yeah. Look, they're barely doing any damage. Yeah, it's fine. All right, so we just need those Rexes, or everybody on that uh, Brute X-Rex. Uh, I'm, I'm definitely worried for Alpha missions. They do have me somewhat worried, um, but it, in theory... Oh, goodness. Okay, we're fine. Anyway, in theory, they should go fine. We're probably going to lose plenty of creatures, but in theory, they should go fine. Um, bit of work, but we'll be fine. All right, that is... What? Game? It's... The things are dead. Uh... uh I guess... It, if it just continues to think that the mission is not completed, then I, I'll just cheat the mission completed. But, uh... Yeah, I guess... Uh, as I said... Uh, yeah, okay. It says there's... I think if we give it enough time, it should realize there's no creature here to kill. In theory. Let's just try to, like, punch in the area, just in case. Yeah, nothing I can do about it. Alright. Well, if I still have to wait for, like... Oh, nope, there we go. Now we're good. Alright, what do we got? Anything useful? There is a scorpion. Let's kill this thing real quick. Anyway, as I said, I don't think I'm going to be able to pull off the, uh... Mission. Uh, that other mission today. The It's a bug cones. But I do, there's actually one more thing I want to be doing, and that is I want to do some crafting skilled uh, gear, because I brought, I was going to, you know, record the whole bringing stuff over again, but I'm like, as long as I get rid of the element, it's not like it's that entertaining or anything. And uh, I, I think I technically deleted the screenshot, but I had 6,000 element before, no, did I? Yeah, no, I had 6,000 element, then I got rid of it, and then I got more element and all, but anyway. So yeah, I brought some blueprints over uh, that will come in very handy, so I want to be crafting those guys up. It is going to be expensive, uh, but it will most definitely be worthwhile. Anyway, so I'll meet you guys back at base once we're crafting, skilling all of those things, because it is going to be a bit... Uh, I need to uh, collect all the resources together and make sure I have like a bunch of extra polymer just in case I run out of organic. So yeah, I'll be back in just a bit. Alright, I have been through a bunch of preparations, and these are all the uh, blueprints I want to be crafting today. So, this shotgun blueprint is something I actually got from, I think it was a red crate. Um, I Because, yeah, I've been using all of my hexagons on either yellow or red crates. I've been mixing the two of them. And I got this shotgun blueprint from a red crate, which is so lucky. <laughs> like, that is ridiculously lucky. And then this uh, or the tech blueprints are ones I brought over from Extinction, alongside these flak blueprints, and then obviously we've already had the Rex Saddle. So yeah, I want to be crafting, I want to, I think in maybe one or two sets of this flak. Uh, probably just one, honestly, unless it's terrible crafting skill. Uh, that's pretty decent. Yep, pretty good. Alright, uh, that's also pretty, eh, that's okay. Uh, no, let's go, let's go for another one. Let's try. Uh, okay, that's only slightly better. All right, whatever. All right, let's try this. Uh, let's go. Oh, that was yeah, that one's good. That one's really good. All right, this one is expensive. Uh, let's just search shotgun. This one is extremely expensive. Uh, oh, yours! Look at that damage! Look at that damage! <laughs> that is insane. That like, oh my god, that is that is insane damage. Oh, I, I do want to see if I can craft a second one, though. I think I want two, please. Okay, that one's not nearly as good. No, not nearly as good. Problem is, I can't really craft any more than that. I'd need the resources for everything else. Uh, let's go for the... Okay, let's go for the tech next. Alright, so let's go for the boots. Okay, that's pretty decent. That's decent. I'll take it. Alright. Oh! Yes, that is good! That is good! Let's go, okay. 
Oh, Josh, that is also really good. Okay, let's come on, come on, let's go. What's this? Mm, gosh, gosh. Okay, we're getting pretty good crafting skills here. That's exciting. It's really exciting. That one's not as good. Okay, around 30%. That's not terrible. This is where it gets scary. Like, everything else up to this point has taken... Oh, I guess that was the last use of that blueprint. Anyway, everything else up to this point is, you know, been expensive. This blueprint is crazy expensive. So we better get some really good crafting skill or else this thing... Oh my, you can see, it's lagging the PC just pulling for it. So this thing better be really worth it. Alright, come on. It's lagging just crafting it. Oh, gosh. Okay. That's okay. That actually, honestly, though... Tech blueprints are, like, getting a 200% tech blueprint is amazing. So, I'm actually not going to complain with that. It's not amazing crafting skill, but getting, like, anything, like, just getting a, a tech blueprint is already good on its own. Getting something over, like, 130 is really good. Getting something that, at base, is 183 is amazing. And then getting a crafting skill of 200% is amazing. All right, we can craft, I'm gonna craft one more, but I think that's about all I have the resources for. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Oh, oh, yes! Look at that damage! Dude! That thing is gonna be a beast of a tech rifle. That is insane. All right, well, we've already crafted saddles in the past. I'm not gonna worry about showing crafting all of that, but that, that stuff right there is insane those are gonna be so handy for this fight 100 percent all right let's grab all of this bring it over and check our new flak out make sure it's definitely better uh we don't want that one but we do want this all right so yeah flak helmet def this one's the new one's definitely better definitely better on that side too and yeah definitely better there too okay so cool all of our new flak definitely holds up against our old flak which is amazing that is some pretty good armor right there actually you know what let's just see what the armor value is for wearing all that 2699 i think it was some it was about 2700 that is nice but i'm curious how much are ooh, lagging just for trying to pull things out that is insane all right I want, i'm curious how much armor value this gives Oh, 3,200. That is nice right there. That is nice. Okay. Oh, you know, it's really stressful crafting this stuff. I want to see how much resource. Holy cow. I think I had like 150,000 metal. I'm completely out of organic polymer. I had like, I think almost 30,000. Crystal, I had almost 30,000 as well. And I'm almost out of black pearls too. Yeah, um... Hopefully we don't have to craft any more tech items because that's definitely not happening. Uh, but I think that was I think that's the last of everything. I think now it's just saddles. Like as long as I don't lose that gear, we'll be fine. We will never have to craft any tech stuff ever again. Uh, so I just need the aloe saddle blueprint because I want to craft some of these as well. And yeah, I'm just gonna be crafting up our saddles now. So uh, yeah. Anyway, hope you guys have enjoyed. Oh word, I, 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 it's still such. It still throws me off knowing that I am a female for this entire Genesis series. It has been throwing me off this entire series. I, every time. So, <laughs> I don't know why. It's just, it has. Anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed. Uh, next video will be our beta final test, and then we're going to be getting into alpha missions. So, I hope you guys have enjoyed. I'll be seeing you guys next time. Goodbye.